In late November 1862, in a blinding snowstorm on Lake Ontario, the schooner Reeve, with a cargo of corn, collided with the schooner Exchange off of Oak Orchard, New York. An underwater remote-operated vehicle was used to explore the shipwreck that is lying nearly 400 feet beneath the surface. The ROV first came upon one of the ship's masts, and we followed it up to the port side of the shipwreck. Here there are a number of spars lying across the deck at odd angles to each other. Now we get our first look at the forward area of the ship just behind the bow. Here is the ship's winch, and right next to it, a companionway into the forward hold. From here, we move along the starboard rail to the bow. The anchors, usually found here, have dropped off the rail and are buried into the mud bottom. Here is where the schooner was hit on its starboard side, pushing in the deck and opening up her hull. It only took minutes for the reeve to sink out of sight. From the center area of the ship, the ROV travels along the boom of the main mast to the ship's cabin. The boom is lying right across the cabin entrance. The roof of the cabin stretches completely across from one side of the ship's rail to the other. At the stern of the schooner, there is an open area in the cabin where the ship's wheel and steering mechanism are located. And in this area, a partially open door from the main cabin can be seen half buried in the silt, built up over the years. This steering arrangement is quite different from schooners that we have observed before. On the port side of the stern, a long boat is seen resting on the bottom. Once secured to the ship's davits, it was pulled down along with the sinking ship.